Ooh. A Morven. We basically never see the Earthguard these days. Mostly crack, with some crack, and some crack, maybe some lippy. With some monsters thrown in. Yeah, this is not great. So currently the plan is just to play a smuggler, then I don't know, maybe a swordmaster, then an archer. Just a bunch of crack. And we plan to fight just for you, love. Uh, round two with the witchers. What is it now? And Crate is our favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. Swords I smile at. Weapons laugh to scorn. Hey, Oh, he's just playing bronzes. Hope he's gonna play the Witchers. Oh boy. Seems like he's playing a very controlling deck. Probably with a lot of damage. Box. And a questionable win condition. That's great. Looking seasonal mode is absolutely busted. Yeah. Let's play the smuggler for now. It's the season of the bear, so Skellig is supposed to be a little favorite. Next is the season of elves and so on. I really hope that's not gonna be true. But they're just gonna make a... Oh! You... You auto win the the seasonal with this uh, deck. Uh, have fun. Do you want to risk losing a card? I think he's not particularly scared, but I have. Or maybe he's more scared. Allowing uh, round three. Oh wow, Ben still exists. I stopped playing shortly before homecoming. <laughs> uh, yep, it still exists. It's getting better. The next expansion. That's probably heard that before. That it it's gotta be really good, but it is true. You heard absolutely nothing about it. Can you guys link him the expansion? But if you know nothing about Homecoming, then I suppose you should start with that. It started out rough. I think that's fair to say. But it got better. People in Reddit say that Gwent is in the best state at the moment. Are they serious? Uh, they could be. Why not? Oh, let's just uh, play this special mover. Actually, we can just play this mover and it's good enough. Because we have a double Bethana sentry. Slaughter them to a man! In recent times, Gwent is in the best state. Okay. Weight crushing trap. Yeah, we gotta start with Pafko. We'll it's 
It's probably gonna get locked. And I started laying, uh, playing uh, MTGA instead, but uh, then got bored of that. A good download Gwent. Yeah, I played MTGA as well. But after two months of playing a mono blue deck... <laughs> uh, yeah. no it is what it is. Ooh, you want to buff it like a couple times? I can just like move it into the fire and lock it. I'm totally into that. Because that could be strong. Because, because you devils. Uh, that is probably what he plays just to guarantee a commander swarm, which is not something I'm overly concerned about. I don't know if he has a trap counter. I would uh, suspect uh, no. Just play the Elven Scout. You should not have come here. You will pay for this. You all will pay. Well, that's good. Uh, he already has max units in the front, so might as well play a crushing trap. So he's probably gonna play a commander swan after this. If I was him, I would play it on in the middle. Good card to play. I don't think I'm gonna replay the Pitfall Trap. What we wanna replay is the Crushing Trap, which is gonna trigger soon. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play your bet. Pick up the Pitfall the Trap. No, 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 that's dumb. Uh, let's, just, let's just play the Crushing Trap. Star soldiers. This guy really wants to play in one row, and I like that. I don't know. I just want to move him in. I don't care too much. We can just move him in later. <laughs> Commander Sword Man! Oh. Destroy a locked enemy? Oh, we can just kill everything. Oh, that's not good. A bythos. Onward, fry head. And wait, the boost is nothing. He might have a Leo, so.
GG! Ooh, that goes away. That goes away as well. Not the decks. It's explanation of rules. Oh, that makes sense. Gwent can be a confusing game because, like, e even even right now, like sometimes it's not clear when what happens. I don't, I don't think it's a really bad idea just to get started with like a standard. Well, just some deck that makes sense. Then you can just uh, branch it out to something you like. How do we do this? I'm just gonna assume that he's competent and he's gonna push me. I'm gonna Ragnarok him right away. When I played Skyrim first time, I looked up guide to get game's best armor in 4 hours. I love, love Skyrim. Maybe I should get back into it. But like, my, my love of Skyrim, I'm like, okay, I, I, I modded it a little bit. Like a tiny bit. That that's basically the same thing I did the, with with mods. Like I start playing Skyrim. Nah, I don't like this. Let's change things. <laughs> I do like that in games. So like if something annoys you and you don't have to like, oh my god, devs fix it already, but they don't fix it. You can fix it yourself. So that's great. Okay. Well, we can do two things here. I can move Roach in the back, and he's gonna enjoy the hot weather. But I can also... yeah, I kinda like that. That that makes more sense. Peace with humans. Alright, Roach. There you go. Who likes a uh, roasted horse meat? Hey, Tin. I'm just gonna call you Tin. That's short. Exactly. Uh, there are a lot of Reddit comments where newbies fe feel simply overwhelmed. No. Okay, let's just play the Witchers. This is kind of bullshit that I played Ragnarok and I'm still struggling. That's annoying. Uh, I have even more of a reason to, to throw something in the back right now. So if I play this with Brewer Hog. Can't exactly gain a card advantage right now, but let's do this. This is so damn close to a card advantage. But I don't want to use more Brewer charges. Yeah. I can't use up the crushing traps. Can't pass. Yeah, we have to use key around here. This was not great, but not the worst. Mm. I just assumed that we're gonna draw into more traps. Pass. 
Keep calm, Tiberius. Yeah. He plans to eat that. You wanna join the orbit and Puffco? He did get neither. Of, neither. <clears throat> Maybe not the archer. Now we got Yorvet, and we can get out all the traps, and I can't move again anymore. But my cards are not the best. But I do have some buffs, so I don't know. This is gonna be a little bit awkward. Oh. I'm not sure. Let's go with the boost. This game might be uh, decided on uh, whether I can uh, hit key units with the Pitfall Trap or not. That hurts. Damage is so damn popular. This is gonna change. And I'm not sure it's gonna change for the better. Because when shields are gonna be more prevalent, the only way you can justify having like big damage is that if you also have pings. Because if your enemy has like a bunch of like guys who have like one shield, and like any amount of damage you deal to that guy is gonna be worth one, then Obviously, player is gonna be a, a bit more hesitant. Uh, just to play damage, big damage. Currently, it's extremely popular. Rightfully so. Really? You shall taste of your own medicine. Please don't just kill everything. Does this guy have stuff that doesn't damages? Does doesn't damage? He's all damage except the awful werewolf. Just kept the damage cards for last. Does he have more damage? Angua überwald. That's not damage. That was a good time to play him. He knows what I'm playing. It's better if we move guys in the back. We know the mysteries of time and space. All of them. Hopefully we can hit uh, his boosted unit. I am who I need to be. And this is the big decision for him. It's a big 50-50. But I also need to care about how do I manage this. Is he gonna play it now? It's a it's a 50-50. Holy shit. He went for it. How could you make that decision? How does he know? 
You have to play a pitbull trap. Yeah, it was it turned out a little awkward. You know that's a pitbull trap. How could you make that decision? This is crazy. If I had to do it, I would have I would have played it. Later. I think we just lost. Onward, fry head. Yeah. By two points, by this balls of woodland spirit playing his best guy into a pitfall trap into a very likely pitfall trap gg